You have to have a commitment to be a plastic surgeon. You have to be willing first to become a good physician. That's number one. And then you have to be a skilled and very meticulous surgeon. And then you have to be able to integrate your knowledge of surgery with your understanding of the human psyche, the human form, society's needs for helping people feel better about themselves. That's what this is all about, making people feel better about themselves. I've been thinking about this for 37 years. <laughs> we frequently get told by our patients, oh, you're quite the artist. And I eschew that title. I don't, I don't like being referred to as an artist. Artists have artistic license, which is, which is very unregulated. It's very uncontrolled. I think and I act like an architect. Plastic surgeons have to think like architects. Architects are bound by the laws of man and the laws of nature. We don't have license to do whatever we want. We have the responsibility to protect our patients' safety, using the best materials available, assembling the product in the, in the most precise way to give the best outcomes. Frank Lloyd Wright had a very profound effect on my way of thinking. As he said, every line must have meaning, cannot be arbitrary. And he, he made me realize that every motion that we make, every stitch that we put in, has to be perfect. As a plastic surgeon, I try to get my inspiration from nature. When we look at the shape of a leaf or of a plant, we realize that it is a functioning organism, just like our patients. And we have to always be acutely aware of the functional components of the work that we do. In the end, what I want is a clean execution of beauty and form. <laughs> <laughs>